Well, despite Hamas' attempts at incitement, the first Friday of Ramadan passed with police reporting no unusual security incidents. There were incidents in southern Israel and in Judea and Samaria, and IDF Chief of Staff Halevi warned that Hamas was trying to incite Ramadan violence on many fronts. An estimated 80,000 worshippers went up to the Al-Aqsa Mosque on Temple Mount in Jerusalem's Old City. Some 3,000 police maintained order amid fears of disturbances. Hamas had called on Palestinians to come to the Al-Aqsa Mosque to confront Israel over the war in Gaza and barricade themselves inside the building. It did not materialize. Prime Minister Netanyahu pledged that the number of worshippers allowed to pray on the Temple Mount in the first week of Ramadan would be the same as in previous years and that no restrictions would be imposed on Israeli Arabs. For security reasons, Muslim worshippers from Judea and Samaria were limited to men over 55, women over 50, and children under 10. The Temple Mount is the holiest place in Judaism where two biblical temples once stood, and the Al-Aqsa Mosque is the third holiest shrine in Islam, making the site a central flashpoint of the Arab-Israel conflict. IDF Chief of Staff Halevi told troops that Israel is in a multi-front war and that incidents on one front can impact others, with the military fighting in Gaza, Judea and Samaria, and along the northern borders. And there were terrorist attacks over the weekend in Israel and in Hebron in Judea. A 50-year-old Israeli man was stabbed in a coffee shop in the Beit Kama Junction in southern Israel. The victim managed to shoot and kill the terrorist, but later died of his wounds. The attacker grew up in Gaza, but moved to Israel four years ago and gained Israeli papers. And in Hebron, a Palestinian terrorist opened fire toward a Jewish neighborhood from a cemetery in the ancient biblical city. He was shot dead by Israeli soldiers, and there were no injuries reported to Israeli residents. 